Rux go at it. Jones wins the first tap out. The ball's hotly disputed into space. Lovely handball from Toya. Ball goes to ground. Van Diemen gets on the end of it. Through the traffic. Handball over the top into space was an awkward one. Under pressure was Scott. He gets dispossessed. Van Diemen follow up work. Brayshaw combining there with Scott. He gives it off to Wilcox. And Wilcox kicks it into space. And that's a lovely ball. Finds Hill. Quick hands to the hard running Brayshaw. Probing kick inside the 50. Hill goes up, but a little premature on that one. And the mark's taken by Selwood in the defensive 50. And now Peel will look to set things up, set things up from half back. However, the options are being shut down. Look at how East Perth are able to set up. They've left some space for Toya. Handball over the top. Selwood taken in a strong tackle by right. Play on, says the umpire. And what about that? Lovely hip and shoulder by Medhat. Gives an opportunity for Hill to East Perth. Kick inside the 50. Going up there. No mark. And what will the umpire say? He's going to say, I'll have it. Umpire getting on with business immediately. Noble knocks it down. On the end of it there was Gray. And the Thunder have got some numbers at the front of the football. One of them is Brody. Handball smothered, but he recovers well. On the overlap now are the Thunder. Wem. Wem kicks down the line. It's a three on two. East Perth have the numbers. And taking it out of play there was Jack Delean. Just off the knees there and we'll have a boundary throw in. Delean and Brody Wem. Wem only saw 11 possessions in last week's loss to Subiaco. A lot of their key players were down. They look pretty much unsettled throughout the afternoon. Noble wins the tap out. On the end of it is Crowden. Breaks free from the would-be tackler. With the left foot into space. It's going to be a foot race inside the 50. Leading that one is Hill. Hill retreats by hand. Good strong tackle there by Sears on his fellow 27 in Angus Scott. Now Wanning holding the ball. The umpire says nothing doing. Good early pressure being applied here by both sides. Jack Sears kicking a couple of goals last week. In their performance against Subiaco, Brayshaw through the traffic, goes by hand. Randall combines with Scott, kicks one high, but it's an awkward one. It's out of bounds on the full. Just over two minutes gone here at Lane Group Stadium, early goings. Round three, WAFL. Lane Group Stadium bathed in sunshine as that ball is sent long down the line. And a great mark by the big man in Scotty Jones. It's been in terrific form since the start of the season. They get it out to the open. Saunders probing kick inside the 50 and going back is Chapman taking a great mark on half back. Chapman drops it short. And now the Peel Thunder side will look to find a way through the corridor. Selwood. Selwood receives the kick from Toya. Selwood sizing up some, op sizing up some options, but he goes across the face of goal. Blight. Short to Nesbitt, wants to play on, in two minds, goes in board with the left foot, that's a good kick, and it spots up Toya, plays on immediately, across the ground to Gray, game 110 for Brady Gray, 20 disposals last week, it's a valuable asset to Peel, getting back into the contest against Subiaco last week, the ball's on centre wing, East Perth have done well here to restrict the usually settled ball movement by the Thunder. Long ball down the line. They'll contest some 80 metres out. Big spoil from behind. On the end of it is Brayshaw mowed down on the tackle. The Thunder with some numbers at the back. They get it off by hand to Gray. Quick hands to Brody. Hancock. To the hard running Gray. Probing kick inside the 50. It was a bit of a wobbler. Jones gathers. Quick hands now to McCready. And now Wilcox with the right foot. That's a lovely kick. And Crowden marks and goes. Down the line to Brayshaw. Brayshaw kicks towards half forward. Lovely ball to Tedesco. Takes a bounce. He'll run into the open goal and sink the first goal of the match to East Perth. Great piece of transition football by the Royals. Seamlessly they get it from defence into attack. And Liam Tedesco, who kicked a big bag last week, gets the first one on the board for East Perth. And that's the way they play their football. In transition, breaking free from the Peel Thunder shackles in defence. But the setup from Wilcox, able to spot up the target out wide to Crowden. Then well-weighted disposal to Brayshaw. And then he was just able to spot Tedesco on the lead, running towards the 50. It was absolutely seamless. Great start by East Perth. 
Tedesco kicking four in that win over Swan Districts last week. At the six marks to back it up. So the supply from the midfield, even without Angus Schumacher, is still paying those early dividends. And it goes to show, with AFL experience, it can work wonders for any side. Five and a half minutes into this opening term, East Perth striking first. Peel Thunder, they've been given an early challenge. The umpires just watching over the 666. In the meantime, looks like James Sturrock is heading onto the field after starting on the bench. Rucks go at it. Noble knocks it down. Players putting their heads over the football. One of them was Randall. Jones, the two big men going at it. Jones can't break free from the Noble tackle. The umpire says, I'll have it. Inside the centre circle. Jones in front position. Calms it down, but it's going to be the Thunder that'll win it out here through Sturt, playing his first league game for the season. But East Perth can repel here. North. North goes across the ground and it finds Rakos. Rakos had the seven marks down back last week. Very crafty defender. So too is this man, Wilcox, across the face of goal. They're switching it up here, the Royals. They find Saunders. Long bomb towards centre wing. Well weighted for Van Diemen. Leads in the race. Gets brought down on the tackle by Nisbet. But he had some company in the form of Watts. Van Diemen, it looks like he was held without it. And the umpire says a free kick will go the way of Sam Van Diemen. Started up forward originally, but he's pushed up to the midfield almost immediately. He'll go in board and he spots up Amadjuri. Great mark on the chest and he'll have a shot from 45 out. East Perth's ball movement looking absolutely fluid early on in this game. They're finding their targets everywhere around the ground. But their setup switching across the face of goal from deep in defensive 50 is really catching the Thunder off guard. The Thunder really have got to get their numbers back. To try and get those one-on-one -on -one contests and have an opportunity to repel. This for Amadjuri's first from just inside the 50. That's not a bad sort of a kick. That's two in a row for East Perth. Brilliant start for East Perth. They've got the first two goals of the match. And they are looking the goods early on here at Lane Group Stadium. It is two straight. East Perth, Peel Thunder yet to score. We play just under eight minutes. <laughs> Again, East Perth's ball movement, fluid and consistent across defence, straight into attack. And players like Amaduri and Tedesco being well accompanied by solid supply in midfield to give East Perth those avenues to go. Peel Thunder just not getting the numbers back to their 50 quickly enough. They're letting players like Tedesco and Amadjuri roam free and take those easy marks. Two goals straight, East Perth. They lead it early. Noble showing his desperation. Quick handball into space. Toya under pressure from Hill. Well done by Hill, but there's a free kick. It's going to go the way of Toya, releases Hancock, driving ball inside the 50, Middleton was free, couldn't complete the mark, roving it out the back is Watts, loops it over the top, East Perth can set up again from the pocket, Saunders receives it from Rakos, but the kick is an awkward one, it's going to be Nesbitt who marks about 80 metres out, with the left foot he goes in board, intended there for, for Delian. East Perth again repelling, Van Diemen, long ball down the line, that's a lovely kick, finds uh, Schofield, Spent that one before he had it. Sock it off the ground. But the ball beats Davies over the line. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Bit of a rare moment there for Mitchell, Schof Mitchell Schofield. Spent that one before he really had it. Again, East Perth finding their way to break free from the defensive 50 and send it right into attack. Noble working it to the front. But East Perth with the numbers are able to win the clearance. Sturrock swings onto the right foot. It's a high ball. Running back is Blight. Couldn't complete the mark. Tedesco. Handball out the back. Here's an opportunity for East Perth. Hill shoots towards goal. And it's three in a row for the Royals. 
East Perth kicking the first three goals of the match. And Peel Thunder are right on the back foot. And as we see here on the replay, East Perth just had a few numbers at the back of the contest. They were able to find Hill. And Hill off a couple of steps was able to get the goal. And East Perth starting like a house of fire this afternoon. You're watching us live on the AFL app and on afl.com.au. Round three, WAFL action. We've played 10 minutes in this opening term and it's East Perth off to the hot start. They're just getting on top of the Thunder early. Three straight to no score. The Thunder in trouble. Of course, the Thunder having to make three changes. Simpson and Reedy and Bo Allen go out. Noble, Stanley and Sturt in the side. And of course, for East Perth, Angus Schumacher, the only change out through the concussion protocols. Out of the centre, Gray gets on the end of it. Wobbly kick inside the 50. Numbers favour East Perth. Hill, handball mopped up by O'Driscoll. Handball into space. Toya will come up to meet it. He's under pressure from Van Diemen. Has some support in the form there of Will Brody. Dispossessed. And now it goes the way of East Perth. Brayshaw on the end of it. Long kick towards the 50. Schofield in front. Needs the sit. Into the open goal. This for four in a row. Another great goal set up off a turnover across half back. They've kicked two of those goals from that way. Mitchell Schofield has kicked his first goal and East Perth have had four individual goal kickers as we see on the replay. Schofield was able to get that loose ball, get the sit and find his way into the open goal. East Perth, they are on a rampage to start this game. Four goals in a row and Peel Thunder unable to find an answer. Ross McQueen, very pleased with the Royal start. And he's got a smile on the face alongside me here at Lane Group Stadium. But it's still early days. Peel Thunder, they need to answer the challenge. Gray, toe pokes off the ground. Hill gathers. Great tackle by Gray. Here's a chance for the Thunder. O'Driscoll takes clean possession, but he's met by a wall of Royals players. Good, strong team tackle by Brayshaw and Raycos. That forces the stoppage. Out 55 metres out from the Thunder goal. Working it to the front is Hill. Good strong tackle. Ball trickles into space inside the Thunder 50. Brayshaw. Well played by Brayshaw. Lovely hands to Crowden. Hill. East Perth working wonders through the midfield. Bows. Probing kick towards half forward. Out the back. That's a brilliant mark at full stretch by Chapman. Immediately goes in board and he spots up Wybert. Wybert marks on centre wing. They've got to really take a chance here, the Thunder. They are getting absolutely annihilated early on in this game. They've had four goals kicked on them. Gray marks on centre wing. East Perth restricting the corridor here. And that leaves Gray with no option but to send it down the line, out towards half forward. Players go up, and that's a great mark at half forward, taken by Middleton. Middleton, a wobbly kick. Fisted away into space. On the end of it there is Toya. Got caught around the shoulder. East Perth players pleading their case, but the umpire saw that Toya did get one around the shoulders. He'll get the free kick. And Toya only in his third league game. He'll have a chance for goal, but he'll have to give it his best ball burster. Peel didn't have any options through the corridor, but Gray was able to penetrate the 50. He gives it off to Hancock. He loves these from outside the 50. It's a big launch. Doesn't quite get the journey. And rushed through by McCready for a behind. But that's Peel's first score. But they trail by some 23 points in this first turn. It's in the hands of Wright. He will go across the ground to the far side. East Perth playing some very good football at the present time. Peel Thunder needing to get an answer. They've had four goals kicked on them. Rakos on half back, takes it and goes. Kicks long towards centre wing. Target presenting. Randall was the target. Good spoil from behind. On the end of it is Hill. Clever tap on by Bowles to the running Randall. Worried out of it. In favour of Wybert. Wybert has a bounce. 
Goes across the ground. It's a dangerous ball one on one. Just over the head there of Ayeto. Peel Thunder need to get some numbers to support their teammates. Lovely hands to Nesbitt. Dangerous ball. Ieto going up against Wright. Wright putting his head over the football. He's brought to ground by Ieto. Hotly contested football. And a stoppage has been forced. Hill up against Trigenza. Hill goes after the loose ball. And off a couple of steps. Pulls it back towards centre wing. One on one. And using his body brilliantly there was Jacob Blight. Blight retreats towards half back. They're looking to switch up the play here, the Thunder. Wybert. Wybert will go short. He spots up O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll has the ball on centre wing. No options up forward, so he has to retreat back to the defensive 50. East Perth locking them down very well here. Davies. Davies. Laces up O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll long ball towards centre wing. Big pack of players spoiled away. And over the line for a boundary throw. -in. Thrown in on centre wing. At about half distance in this first quarter, East Perth with all the momentum. Trigenza can't break free. He's mowed down by Van Diemen. And the umpire says, I'll have it. Jones wins it down. Brayshaw hurries the kick towards half forward. Player in front there was Hill. Soccer's off the ground. Getting on the end of it is Schofield. Medhat kicked six last week. Peel Thunder doing everything they can to keep it alive, but it's going to be rushed through for a behind. So that'll be East Perth's first minor score of the afternoon. They go to 4-1. The margin is back to 24 points. Played some 18 minutes in this first turn. Chapman will send it long. Huge pack of players. Jones out the back with the sport. Selwood. Oh, he just got caught around the ankles there. And he's going to get the free kick trip against Amadouri. Selwood will go in board from half back and he spots up Toya. Toya gives it off by hand to Selwood under pressure. Just got it away. Back to Toya. Kick off hands. East Perth with the numbers. Out to Schofield. Schofield waits the kick at half forward. It was intended for Scott. The pressure really on the Thunder here. Out from half back. Wobbly kick. Turnover. Players putting their heads over the football. Hill. It's around the would be tackle up. Needs to size up the option at half forward. He does. It's a lovely kick, and that is marked by Sturrock going to ground. He's about 55 metres out. Sends it long to the pocket, one-on-one, -on -one and virtually uncontested. The mark taken by Schofield. No Thunder defender was directly marking him. And Schofield's able to take a great mark, and he'll have a shot for goal from a very difficult angle. Here we see on the replay. Sturrock able to penetrate the forward pocket, and Schofield able to mark with ease. This for East Perth's fifth goal in a row. From a tight angle. Check side kick. And he's missed a lot. Always a difficult kick, the check side, when you're going from the forward pocket. Schofield got a lot on it, but just couldn't get that one past the big sticks. Driving ball, looking for Noble. Spoil from behind. Gray's handball smothered. Good strong tackle being laid there by Gray. The umpire says, I'll have it. Noble and Jones. Brody. Just got through the traffic, but his handball was smothered. It's Gray who gathers, hurries the kick and going to ground. The mark taken by Watts. 
Watts has the ball on centre wing. No options further up forward, so he has to go in board to Saunders. Switching up the play towards midfield. Rakos. Nice Perth. Switching it up towards the far side. Scott, too close to the man on the mark. And now Peel, they look to break, th break through. Sears goes in board. Delian. Delian coming over from South Adelaide. Test his skill in the WAFL. Delian, long ball inside the 50. Out the back, and that's a terrific mark by Sturt. Using the body brilliantly against Rakos. And he'll have a shot from about 35 metres out, as we see on the replay. Let's have a look at this one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, and I have to say, did he put his hands on Rakos's back there? That's interesting. But, nonetheless, Sturt was able to use the strength in the one-on-ones brilliantly. And he takes a very good mark. And this will be for a much-needed steadier for the Thunder. Not much of a breeze blowing across the ground. But it's on a 45-degree angle. This for Peel's first. He sneaks it home. The Thunder get the desperate answer. And Peel Thunder, they go to 1-1-7. East Perth 4-1 at 25. That is at the 22-minute mark of this opening term. As we see, Sturt's goal with the left foot. Just started a bit to the left. He just was able to sneak that one past the post. And get an answering goal for Peel Thunder. 1-1 one, one plays 4-1. It's an 18-point margin here at Lane Group Stadium. Live on afl.com.au and on the AFL app. Other games being played today. South Fremantle and Claremont at Fremantle Oval. Subiaco taking on West Perth over at Sullivan Logistics Stadium. And later today, it is Perth taking on Swan Districts under lights in a day-night match at Mineral Resources Park. Back in the centre. Noble with a big leap, wins it down. The clearance being won by the Thunder. Great mark in front there by Stanley. Driving ball inside the 50, out towards the pocket. Middleton, just over his head. Roving it out the back is Watts. Handball over the top. It's intended there for Adam Bowles, but it's over the boundary line. Just inside the Thunder 50. Noble winning it to the front. Hancock swings onto the right foot. The kick towards full forward. Spoil out the back. Shooting towards goal there was Wem. And he misses the lot. His Perth now will send it back into play. Ty Wilcox. Cox only had the nine disposals last week. Had a quiet day out there against Swan Districts at Sullivan Logistics Stadium. He sends the ball up forward. Losing his foot in there was Jones. Noble couldn't complete the mark. And the ball trickles over the line. We'll have a boundary throw in. 23 and a half minutes in. This opening quarter. Early possession getters. Scotty Toyer with 10. And Brady Gray with 8 for the Thunder. Angus Scott with 7. And Hamish Brayshaw only with the 6. He's been very impactful, Hammer Brayshaw, every time he's gotten the footy. Hill on the end of it, but gets taken in the tackle by Brody out of play. It'll be a boundary throw in in front of our commentary position here in Mandrup. Sunny Western Australian weather after the rain and the thunderstorms that we had yesterday. Knocking it to the front there was Noble. Close to the boundary line and seeing it out is Ben Hancock. One-on-ones everywhere at this stoppage. Noble knocks it down. Toya. His 11th disposal, Toya. He's perfect again. Getting numbers at the back of the contest. North combines with Hill. Back to send it by hand. And he 
retreats now to Rakos, who sends one high and long. Huge pack of players, spoil out the back. Crowden put his head over the football, but gets brought down by Wyburn. Randall hurries the kick with the left foot towards left half forward. One on one here, handball comes out, Hill. Seeing it over the line, and it was off Hill's foot. It's going to be out of bounds on the full. It'll be taken by Davies. They'll take it across the face of goal. They're under a bit of pressure here, the Thunder. They'll need to find their way out. Nesbitt retreats by hand. That's a well-weighted kick. And now the Thunder, they look to break free. Handball out. They send it down the line towards centre wing. Sturrock leading in the race there against Wilson. Well done there by Middleton. Middleton slews off the side of the boot. Toya, great effort to go after the loose ball. That's what the Thunder need. Hancock goes in board. That's a good ball towards half forward. Gray turns and kicks to the pocket. And that's a great mark taken there by Corey Tregenza. And he'll have a shot for Peel Thunder's second goal. Well, they found themselves in a bit of a panic, Peel Thunder, in their defensive 50. East Perth's, def East Perth's players were pushing forward, looking to enforce their forward pressure, but Peel were able to find their way back, take it wide across the ground, and then just find their way through the corridor. The effort by Toya, the second effort was brilliant. Inboard kick found Gray, and he was able to spot up Corey Tregenza. Kicked two goals last week. Can he make it two in a row for the Thunder? It starts straight, but it sway, uh, sways well left. And only a minor score. one 2 eight, plays 4-1 here at Lane Group Stadium as East Perth moves the ball towards the far side, and it's marked by Schofield. Schofield from half-back. Sizing up the options. Schofield drives it towards midfield. Big pack at the centre of the contest. Well played there by North. Players spill to ground. Selwood put his head over the football, but he gets brought down and will have a ball up. Noble trying to go for the big leap, but loses out this time. Brayshaw on the end of it. Hurries the kick towards half forward, and that's a great mark taken by Blight. One of Peel Thunder's best in the back six. Goes across the face of goal to Chapman. Chapman will play on. Again, across the face of goal, but to the far side. Royals restricting Peel Thunder's usually fluid ball movement quite well here. They find Hancock. He's been told to get things moving. Driving ball towards centre wing. Pack of players, Noble with the big leap, couldn't mark, and it's out of play. Be a boundary throw in. There's the siren. That'll be the siren for quarter time. And a strong way we go. Noble and Jones to start things off. Brody gets on the end of it. Quick hands to Gray, who gets taken high. And Van Diemen concedes the free kick. Van Diemen's pleading his case. But it was around the shoulders, according to the umpire, and it's Brady Gray who has the free kick. Gray has it inside the centre square, and he spots up a target free. Spilling the mark there, but he's able to mop up. Probing kick inside the 50. Huge pack of players at the front of the football. Big spoil there from Noble. Ray, the Saunders goes over the top. Early pressure being applied here by the Thunder. O'Driscoll goes to ground. Taken in a very strong tackle and we'll have a ball up. Noble with the big leap, but again loses out to Jones. And guess who? Brayshaw, first to it. Clearing kick out towards centre wing, but going back. A terrific mark by the debutant in Ollie Murphy. Murphy at 190 centimetres. He goes in board and spots up Davies, who has got Chapman, and he spots him. Chapman will go across the ground to the near side. And that's a fine mark taken there. Kicks towards the attacking side of centre. Chapman, Amadouri, thought he kept it in play, but not to be. 
And Majuri a bit unlucky because he would have been running towards that half forward line. If he had kept it in play. Noble knocks it down. Randall putting his head over the football. Brody wins out. And Demon with the strong tackle. Players converging at the coal face and a stoppage is forced. Important start needed here for the Thunder. So too the Royals. They've got a healthy cushion, but they want to extend it. But the Thunder will win out the clearance. Beautiful hands over the top. Opportunity for Peel to penetrate the forward 50. The kick was intended for Wilson. Couldn't complete the mark. And the ball trickles over the line. We'll have a throw in. Shane Hill starting very well for the Royals. Seeing a decent amount of footy in the midfield. Switching to that on-ball roll. Originally started on half forward against Selwood. And that switch by Ross McQueen could prove pivotal. Jones hurries the kick, and that's out of bounds on the full. That'll be a free kick going the way of Murphy. Ollie Murphy out of the Rockingham Juniors. That is a shocking kick with the left foot. Brayshaw inflicts the turnover, and now the Royals will get an opportunity to play it towards the corridor. Mark taken by Randall, releases Brayshaw on the burst. Handball over the top, Tedesco swings onto the right foot, kicking towards half forward, and that's a great mark taken by Medhat. Kick six last week. Probing kick to the tip of the goal square, two on one. Players going down, one of them was Blight. Gathering is Nesbitt. He just kept it in play, I'd have to say by inches. And is able to repel for Peel Thunder. Going down the line, Gray. Ray spots a player on the burst, and that is Hancock. 157th game, it's a high, dangerous ball. Three on one, big fist from behind. Brayshaw, quick hands to the hard-charging Crowden. Crowden with the left foot, goes looking for Amadjuri. Leading in the race against Chapman. Well played there by Crowden, brilliantly done. Got it out to right, handball into space, was an awkward one. Desperation shown by Wem. a second effort was brilliant. But Wright got the handball in time. And now East Perth looking to retreat, finding some open space on the wing. It's McCready who marks the kick intended for Saunders. Just over his head, Wilson dispossessed. Play on, says the umpire. Deleng gets around the would-be tackler. Goes by hand to Wem. Switches the ball up towards right half forward, and that's a great mark taken by Sears. Sears, a couple of goals last week, was held well. But he is a big, long kick. He spots a target short. And that's a lovely mark on the burst, Wilson. This will be a very difficult kick if he's going to back himself. This will be from about 45 and on a very difficult angle. Nathan Wilson held to just six touches and one goal for the day. Didn't create much of an impact when needed against Subiaco. This will be the ideal time to get the ball rolling for the Thunder from a very tight angle. He's gotten onto it. What a goal, Nathan Wilson. Just the start, Peel Thunder wanted. They've got the first goal of this quarter. And as we see on the replay, he looked pretty confident as soon as it left the boot. And he's saying to his players, come on, we can get back into this. And they've started off very well. 2-2-14. Plays 4 1 25, the margin 11 points. Some five minutes into this opening term. And as you see there, Wilson, the old modern football cliche you run to the bench after you kick a goal. Some people like it, some people don't. And that's the second quarter start Peel Thunder wanted against the run that East Perth established in the first term. That is the last two goals that Peel Thunder have kicked. After East Perth kicked the first four. Noble wins it down. Follows it up by gathering possession. He's brought down by Randall. He can't break free. And the umpire says, give it to me. Noble and Jones. Brody just got the handball away. Noble tackled, play on says the umpire as Brayshaw hurries the kick inside the 50. Davies roves it out the back, brilliantly done. Following it up, Blight, Murphy, looping handball, Wybert. 
Wobbly kick with the left foot, but brilliantly picked up there by Toya. He's having a good first half. Peel Thunder playing some better football here, but the handball was a risky one. Brody taken to ground by Brayshaw, just got it away in time. The crowd were wanting a push. Umpire says play on. And East Perth are able to settle. The kick marked by Saunders, just off the side of the boot, but able to get there in time is Hill. He marks on the chest. East Perth just settling down now, wanting to... Slow the tempo down in their favour. Peel just starting to really change it up in their favour. That, that Watts kick was an absolute beauty. He spots up Brayshaw. Hamish Brayshaw has started this season with a flourish. Despite missing round one. Brayshaw centres the ball. And just around the neck there against Middleton. Peel Thunder players not too happy. That one was a couple of steps too late. That one, no doubt, be talked about a little bit. Free kick's going to be taken by Saunders. He can go in board. And East Perth looking to really pepper the 50s here. The kick just over the head of Medhat. Leading in the foot race against Blight. Well done there by Blight. Brilliantly done. Got it out to O'Driscoll. Now Hancock. Driving ball towards centre wing. It's close to the boundary line and might have just bounced inside. It's going to be a throw-in. That'll be a very interesting battle there. In midfield for both Peel Thunder and East Perth. Thrown in on centre wing. 4-1, plays 2-2. Noble knocks it down. Leading in the race is Scott. But the ball beats him over the line. We'll have another throw. -in. Just joining us for the first time. We've played eight and a half minutes in the second quarter. East Perth leading 4-1 to Peel Thunder 2-2. It's 11 points the margin. Noble again knocks it down. Crowden can't break free. Cleverly tapped on by Jones. Handball by Scott partially smothered. Well done by Wilcox to break free. Wilcox turns and kicks with the right foot. Crowden. Great mark by Crowden. Goes by hand. And the Royals have a chance to penetrate the 50. They kick down the line. Lovely ball. Mark by Hill. Hill sizing up the options, but I think he would have to back himself, or would he? Hill will elect to set it up towards the pocket. It's a dangerous ball, but it's chopped up brilliantly by Murphy. Murphy, kick is dangerous. Hill with the spoil, but the free kick has been paid by the umpire. It'll go the way of the Thunder. Ethan Stanley. Bring the number 46 instead of his original 15. Peel Thunder move it across the ground. That's a good kick. And it's marked on the chest by O'Driscoll. Part of that O'Driscoll football family. Of course, Emma O'Driscoll playing in the AFLW. Of course, they're getting back to their pre-season. O'Driscoll kicks down the line. Players fall to ground. Going after the loose ball is Raycos. He's had a decent first half. The kick just inside play. And it's marked on centre wing. East Perth got a couple of targets in board. Brayshaw's one of them. Brayshaw driving ball down the line. Amajuri. Amajuri initially spotted up Crowden, but he's ignored. Amajuri wants to pop it high to the hotspot. But again, Blight read it well. He'll switch it across the face of goal. Stanley. Neat the city's got time and space in the back pocket. Stanley, long ball. That's a beautiful kick by Stanley. And it's marked by Sturt. Sturt will go short with the left foot. And it's marked easily there by Wem. Wem signaling to go long. He sets it up now. East Perth with the numbers. And Scott, was, uh, Scott Jones was in front there. He'll get the free kick. Top one around the shoulder. Jones in board to Crowden. Crowden has someone going past. It's North. He's across the ground by foot to Wilcox. Down the line. That's a good kick. And it's Van Diemen who marks. 
11 and a half minutes gone. Hill Thunder with the only goal of the term through Nathan Wilson. Tedesco lets that one slip through his fingers. Hill Thunder have got player on the overlap. That's Nesbitt. Goes to Toya. Releases O'Driscoll. He can kick a big thumping goal. O'Driscoll from 45 metres out. He slews that one off the side of the boot. But it's a boundary throw in. That's an opportunity gone begging for O'Driscoll. That was a good opportunity, it has to be said. O'Driscoll got the overlap handball. And Toya. And he found some time and space to go into the open goal. Just couldn't execute. But it's still on Peel's Ford 50. Opportunity for the Thunder to try and get a couple back. And close the margin in even further. East Perth, to their credit, they're back six. Are being resolute early on. Jones takes it out, gets dispossessed. Plays around the football. Delean can't break free. He did have some opportunity, but the umpire will give him a reprieve. Jones knocks down. On the end of it is North. Crowden over the top. There's a free kick. There's a free kick. That's going to go the way of the Royals. That is Sturrock who takes a free kick. Took one off the ball. Sturrock will immediately go short. Crowden with the left foot, taking it on the half volley. And he gets it back to Crowden. Crowden, follow-up effort, very solid. Short ball, spots up his teammate there in Hill. Wilcox goes over the top. Crowden kept on running, unchecked. The handball just out of his reach. Now East Perth able to settle things down. Now retreating towards half-back, Rakos. They're aiming to switch it up here, and they do. Leader on his heel. Marked on centre wing. Hill with no options down forward. He elects to go in board. That's a good mark under pressure. Taken by Amaturian. Oh! Getting charged there by Selwood. Lucky not to have that one reversed. Amaduri will go across the face of goal towards McCready. East Perth look to break free. They've got some players on the overlap on centre wing. One of them there is right. Right with the left foot, ordinary kick. And it's chopped up by Davies. Davies will drop it short. Marked there by O'Driscoll with the left foot out to Selwood. Selwood with 18 disposals last week in the loss to Subiaco. Selwood will drive it down the line. Players go up. Ball spills out the back. Deleen, was he pushed without it? Play on, says the umpire. It's mopped up there by North. Touched off Deleen's, uh, Deleen's hand. Opportunity here for Peel Thunder. Deleen. Hurried kick towards the goals, and it just hits the woodwork. Great desperation shown there by Deline. Was able to go after the loose ball off the back of the smother and get a kick off a couple of steps. Just a little bit unlucky. East Perth moving the ball to the outer side. Socket off the ground by Wilcox. Gains about 20 metres. Handball over the top, was an awkward one into space. Well played by O'Driscoll. Long ball to the hot spot. Players go up, it spills out the back. Opportunity for the Thunder side. Ayedo pulls it back across the body, and that's another one for the Thunder. So Ayedo gets his first of the afternoon, and Peel have kicked the last three goals, including the end of the opening quarter when Sturt was able to get an answer. Here we see on the replay, Ayedo going after the loose football and pulling it back across the body for a brilliant goal. And they've restricted the margin back to four points at the 16-minute mark of this second term. The momentum shifting in favour of the Thunder in this second term. They're playing some better football, putting on a lot more pressure at the contest. And East Perth are just being run off their feet in this term.
scores in other games. South Fremantle have kicked six goals to one against Claremont. No, you're not hearing things. Six goals to one South Fremantle have kicked against Claremont. Make that seven goals to one. South Fremantle with an unbelievable first quarter and Subiaco leading by nine points against West Perth over at Sullivan Logistics Stadium. Advantage is paid in favour of East Perth. Hill gets the handball out to Randall from just inside the 50. Got plenty of carry but doesn't make the journey. And running with the fly to the ball is Jacob Blight. He has stood up to the task well in this first half, the big backman. Probing kick towards half back. Tregenza at full stretch, no mark. Well played by Hill. Handball out to Wright who hurries the kick towards the forward 50. Peel with some numbers at the back of the ball here. One of them is Chapman. Gray. And now Gray is able to combine with Chapman through the corridor. Chapman. Couldn't get all of that. Out towards half forward. Opportunity for the Thunder. Probing kick towards goal with the left foot. It's going to be out of bounds. That's going to be a boundary throw in. Corey Watts. Unable to keep the ball alive. We'll have a boundary throw in. Peel Thunder controlling the territory game in this second term. They're peppering the 50 and they're getting some good reward. Two goals to nil in this quarter. Loose football capitalised on by Saunders. And now Crowden will go with the left foot down the line. Peel with the numbers. Lovely mark taken by Tregenza. It's been a real revelation for the Thunder. Coming over from the Colts team, he's got a lot of potential. We're going to switch up the play here across the face. Hill Thunder trail by four points. The kick was an ordinary one. Spilling the mark there was Brayshaw. Rare mistake from the hammer, but he's able to find his teammate in Sturrock. Kicks towards the loose man in bowls. Needs to take clean possession. The pressure really on here from Wybert. Moles getting mowed down in the tackle by Wybert. Brilliant effort by the Peel Thunder defender, saving his team's bacon. Gets taken by the legs as soon as he kicked it. What about that desperation from Wybert in that one-on-one, -on -one, saving an all but certain goal. That effort will certainly be praised by Adam Reid. Brody spins out of trouble, loses possession, but got the handball away. Randall. Ooh, desperation being shown here by both teams. But the effort from Taj Wybert, and only his third game nonetheless, stopping a certain goal that Adam Bowles was going to. And that effort keeps Peel Thunder going with all the momentum. And that's going to be a free kick. Advantage is paid. Peel Thunder's way. Brody launches it long towards half forward. The mark spilt there by Saunders. And in fact, that's Raykos, I should say. Raykos gets it back. Switching it across the face of goal. Always dangerous when you've got a couple of defenders in the 50. But East Perth are able to find some space. The kick was an awkward one. Schofield couldn't take it on the half volley. Almost a high tackle. Play on, says the umpire. Sturrock gathers. Handball over the top to Scott. And releases right on the burst. Oh, lost his footing there. Worst time to do that. But luckily, he did get one around the shoulder. And he'll have a chance to settle things down with the free kick. Wright goes in board, dangerous. Saunders under pressure. Cleverly tapped on there by Wilson. Deline, handball into space. And now Stanley will pump it long from 55 metres out. It's to the far side. And just the one behind. Peel Thunder doing all the attacking in this quarter. East Perth have simply stalled. Long ball towards half-back. Huge pack of players at the back of the contest. Neither could get a hand to it. And it'll be a boundary throw-in on the fourth side of centre for Peel. Two goals to none in this second term. The momentum has shifted. Peel Thunder, they trail by three points. East Perth. No doubt they'll be in for a couple of strong words from Ross McQueen. All that momentum from the first quarter when they got the early run on has been deflated. It's gone. And Thunder, they are looking for more. Again, peppering the 50. Watts with the spoil. Huge opportunity here for the Thunder. Dribbling towards goal. Sears on the end of it. Gets taken to ground. 
East Perth with three around the football. The handball intended for Saunders. Peel wanting deliberate. Umpire says no. It'll be a throw in in the forward pocket for the Thunder. Knocked down. Brayshaw. Brayshaw hurries the kick towards half back, and it's Trigenza going to ground. Takes a good mark. Trigenza sizing up some options. It's a dangerous ball. Unable to mop it up there with Stanley. Stanley going to ground. Taken in a very good tackle by Scott, and Scott's going to be rewarded. Holding the ball. Angus Scott has the free kick on half back. A goal for East Perth will certainly relieve the pressure. Brayshaw marks. Brayshaw across the face of goal now. East Perth needing to find a way back. Watts retreats. And now right. East Perth with the ball in the right back pocket. Peel locking them down brilliantly. We saw East Perth do the same in the first quarter. Peel Thunder have turned the tables in this turn. Settling things down here, East Perth. Right, pumping it long. And uncontested there is Watts. The going board, ordinary kick. Bowles gathers off the half volley, goes over the top to Hill. He drops it short and finds Schofield. Schofield told to get things moving. He goes in board and now East Perth looking for some options further up the ground. That's a good mark by Hill. Zachary Hill on the forward side of centre. Sets it up. High ball. In from the side there, Blight. He's worked hard across the back line. Team tackle by the three Royals players there. Medhat and Jones in amongst it. We'll have a ball up inside the Royals 50. Jones wins it down. Hurried kick by Gray. Saunders spilling the mark at the last moment. He better watch out because Wem was able to supply the tackle but a little high. Free kick's going to go the way of Saunders. Vital opportunity here for East Perth if they want to get a settling goal. Saunders will pump it to the hotspot. Players will fly. That's a great mark this time, Chapman. That back line has really stood up since the later stages of the quarter as the siren goes to win the second term. Half time here at the fist away. On the end of it is Randall. Goes with a quick handball out to Crowden. Loops it over the top to the open hill. Quick hands to Tedesco. Now setting it up towards full forward. Lovely football by East Perth. Good ball there by Tedesco. Able to probe it inside the 50. And the mark is taken about 35 out from goal. And having the first shot will be Mitch Schofield. He kicked one in that first term. And he has a chance to kick his second. And open the margin up to nine points. East Perth now starting to really get back to grips with their game. At the start of this quarter, they won that first centre clearance. And they were able to open it up on the near side and find Schofield, that main avenue to goal. This for his second goal from 45 metres out. That is as straight as a time. Schofield gets it rolling for East Perth in the second half. Inside the first minute of this second half. And East Perth, they go to 5-1 to Peel Thunder 3-4 as we see Schofield's kick. A very confident Schofield as soon as that one left the boot. And he's got East Perth's fifth goal and his second. The first multiple goal kicker of the afternoon. Scores in other games in round three. We've got a couple in progress. South Fremantle leading Claremont 9-3-57 to 3-1-19. No, you're not hearing things. 9-3 to 3-1. And West Perth 
after a slow start. They've got to within four points of Subiaco. 5-1-31 to 3-9-27 West Perth. A little bit inconsistent in front of goal. But back here, East Perth have got it back out to nine points. But Peel Thunder may have a chance to answer the challenge. Hancock kept his feet. His kick, was it touched off the boot? Umpire says no. He, taking the easy mark is Sam Sturt. And he's directly in front. He'll have to kick from a right on the 50, I would say. Well, East Perth won the first centre clearance to start the term and thrusted their way forward. Peel Thunder have been able to answer. But can Sam Sturt answer the challenge from just about on the 50? He kicked one late in the second quarter. He has to give it his absolute best. This from right on the 50. It's a floater. It's not going to make the journey. East Perth's numbers converging at the coalface. A good team tackle, and they're rewarded. And the free kick's going to go the way of Corey Watts. Watts immediately spots up Saunders in the back pocket. Goes short, and it's crowded. Crowden will go down the line with the left foot. Peel with the numbers at the back. Who wanted it? Davey swooped in from the side. It would have been an easy mark. And again, East Perth's players converging in that pack to force the stoppage. East Perth just lacked that intensity at the coalface in that second term. As Chapman goes across and battles against Amajuri. That'll be a great second half matchup. As the ball is knocked over the line, we'll have a boundary throw in. Possession pretty much even at the present time. 52% to 48 in favour of Peel Thunder, uh, East Perth rather. In favour of East Perth. East Perth have had two more marks, seven more handballs, and have had 14 more tackles. That really is making a difference for East Perth despite having not scored in the second term. Randall's handball finds Brayshaw, is able to get possession and put it onto the right foot and with a great mark there flying over the top it is Selwood Selwood goes in board finds Chapman Chapman inside the centre square he's going to switch up the play to the outer side that's a good kick and it finds Ayedo Ayedo looking for targets further up the ground but he elects to go short and find Toya a great first half he had goes in board Chapman Attacking play back to the corridor. Chapman will send it long. They'll contest about 35 metres out. With the big leap, Scotty Jones. Terrific mark. Takes it across the face of goal. Watts. Moved away from the mark, so he has to play on. And that one just over the head of Saunders. And that is out of bounds on the full. Big chance for Peel Thunder to get one back. The ball is in the hands of DeLeon. He has to move across to take his kick, being told by the umpire. Lean will take the ball to the pocket, not a well-guided kick. And it's Watts who chops it up, immediately gives it off to right. With that left foot, it's a probing ball in from the side, no mark to Murphy. Well played there by Schofield, just got it out. Keeping it alive there is Medhat, socket off the ground by Schofield and taking it over the line is Davies. Matched up there with Zach Hill. That should be another great matchup in this second half. Davies, a good young defender, coming over from Claremont. And the Claremont Juniors, and he's having a really good outing for Peel Thunder. Hotly contested football inside the Ford half for East Perth. It's going to be tossed up at about 65 out from goal. Noble knocks it down, handball intended there for Wem. Good strong tackle by Hancock, and it's going to be another stoppage. Goal's hard to come by with the way the game has panned out after quarter time. Two goals to nil in the second, and East Perth at the moment have got the only goal. They have an opportunity to extend their advantage. Crowden, centering ball to the tip of the goal square. Using the body well there was Davies, under pressure from Hill. Handball into space was intended for Selwood. Lays a good strong tackle on Medhat in the pocket. And it's going to be a ball up.
about 15 metres out from the Royals' goal. Was Gray held without it? According to the umpire, he was. So Gray will get the free kick in the back pocket. He turns to the face of goal and find Nesbitt. Nesbitt just goes short in the nick of time. Was touched. Play on, says the umpire. And it's Davies on the last line of defence. He in turn goes to the near side and finds Gray. Gray will set it up towards half back. Players going up. Good fist away there from Noble. Good strong tackle here. And it's going to be a ball up. Knocked down by Jones. Randall taps it on to Crowden. In turn gives it off to Hill. Pulls it back with the left foot. Fist away. There's a free kick. And it's going to be against Davies. And the free kick's going to be taken inside the 50 by Zach Hill, his fellow number six. And he'll have a shot for his first goal, and East Perth's second in a row. Should Hill kick this goal, Margin will be out to 15, and the pressure will truly be on the Thunder. Zach Hill from 40 metres out. He sneaks that one home. East Perth have two in a row in this third term. Zach Hill has his first. East Perth starting this third term in strong fashion. They've kicked the first two. And at the nine minute mark of this third term, East Perth 6 1 37. Peel Thunder 3 4 22. Well, East Perth. Getting back into their natural game. Winning that centre clearance, applying great pressure on the football. And their avenues to goal, able to find some space in the 50. At the same time, Peel Thunder, they're just getting second to the football. They need their key on ballers to really lift. And at the moment, it's been East Perth that have applied the intensity. The first two goals of this quarter. Nine minutes gone. Margin is 15. Brayshaw gets boot to ball. It's high. It's long towards half forward. Big spoil at the back. Stanley roves it well. He'll go onto the right foot. That kick was intended for Wem. Ball spills free. Just keeping it in play is North. Schofield goes back to North. Hurriedly gets boot to ball towards the forward side of centre. He'll with some numbers at the back of the contest. Toya goes to Stanley. And now Brody. Blight had an excellent second term. Davies. And now Peel Thunder going to work it through the corridor here. They're away. Gray has a bounce in midfield. Goes over the top. Huge chance here for the Thunder. Short ball. Spots up Delian. Great football by the Thunder. The kick was by Sears. He was able to honour the lead of Delian. And that's really one of the more cleaner passages of play from Peel Thunder in this game. That's what they need to do against this East Perth side. They want to get their numbers into the corridor, penetrate through midfield, and find some options in the 50. Jack Delean in only his third game. A vital kick for goal. To steady the ship for the Thunder. From 45 metres out, it's got plenty of carry. Did he get it? No, it didn't make the journey. Strong tackle by Sturt on Wilcox. We'll have a ball up just mere metres from the Thunder's goal. Jones knocks it down. Delian, quick handball. Trigenza went one way when he should have went the other. That's holding the ball. Great tackle there by Crowden, shutting Trigenza down. And that'll be Crowden's free kick in the back pocket. Jack DeLeon with that kick for goal. He got plenty of carry, but just maybe put a little too much height on that one. That's a key opportunity. That went begging. But East Perth taking the ball to the near side. Watts takes it on the half volley. Got the handball away. McCready, handball smothered by Middleton. And practically got body slammed there by Crowden. And the umpire will call for the ball. A 
At least Middleton is okay, and he'll carry on with the business. Got a plus one in that forward 50. Do peel thunder. If they go to him, that's a huge chance. But East Perth again, winning the clearance through North. Fisted away by Wyvern. Van Diemen. Handball to Brayshaw, and now Bowles. Kick brilliantly smothered. Wybard. But however, it comes back to Van Diemen for the Royals. Centering kick. Spilled mark there by Tedesco. He's able to tidy up. Van Diemen. Quick hands intended for McCready. It wasn't a good handball. Well done by Sears. Gets past two tacklers. Kicks off the side of the boot. Middleton ducked his head. No free kick. Great tackle by Raycos. What's the umpire going to say? And he says, give that one to me. Thank you. Intensity starting to really kick up a notch in this third term. We've played 12 and a half minutes. 6-1 plays, 3-4. Noble with a lovely hit out. Can't break free there is Hancock. But the Peel Thunder, they've got it in their territory. It's about 40 out. Jones tapped out. Hancock. Hancock keeps it in front. Goes to ground. Quick hands to Toya. Sturt, quick hands, Ayedo taken in a tackle by Crowder, but there's a free kick. And it's against Crowder, and it was a high tackle. And Ayedo now has an opportunity to bring Peel back to within nine. Crowder pleading his uh, case, but to no avail. Always a subject of debate, these high tackles, whether the player that has the football puts his head down, or whether he doesn't. But in this case, I'd have to say, Oyedo did get taken high after going for the football. Nonetheless, vital kick for goal coming up for Oyedo. He delivers when it matters. Oyedo's second goal of the afternoon. And there's a little bit on here. The heat really on here at Lang Group Stadium. Oyedo gets one for his own troubles. The heat really is on here at Lang Group Stadium. 14 minutes gone. Peel Thunder 4-4-27 to East Perth 6-1-37. I would have to say that was a little bit unnecessary by the East Perth player. After Ayeto kicked that goal, you cannot afford to have those moments of ill-discipline because it may cost you a game or two. This game has really turned up a notch here at Lane Group Stadium. A vital goal for Ayeto. He's got his second, but got one for his corner. And the crowd really letting them both know about it. Margins nine points, ladies and gentlemen. 6-1 to 4-4. Peel Thunder staying in touch. But East Perth have got that two-goal cushion. They do not want to waste it midway through this turn. But here's Gray. Quick in hand off to Toya, who kicks one high towards the forward half. Players converging at the coal face, that being North and Wilcox, and we'll have a ball up. Sears shifting out towards the wing, able to provide further running depth in midfield for the Thunder. But East Perth again with those numbers at the back of the contest. Crowded, quick hands to Wilcox. Pumps it high towards centre wing. Chapman looking to tap it on, but it's mopped up by Medhat. Medhat chips that one high and long, going up his Schofield, looking to mop up his Amajuri. Needs to get the sit, keeps it in front. Amajuri will go over the top there to Raycos. It doesn't get the snap. Lovely bit of play there from Wem. The desperation needed by the Thunder is certainly working wonders. Great. Hurried the kick. It's out towards centre half back. Tapped on by Watts. Crowden to right. Pumping it long towards goal. Has it got the carry? It has! Unbelievable goal. Stanley Wright goes back. That's his first goal, and East Perth answer the challenge once again. 16 minutes into the third term. 7-1 plays 4-4. Well, Stanley Wright is known for those big booming kicks for goal from outside 50. And the forward pressure forcing the turnover. Gray hurried the kick long towards halfback. Watts was able to tap it on. He had Tedesco and Schofield as options. But they were able to give it off to Stanley Wright, who is utilised as that big kicking forward. And he was able to pump it long from 50 and delivers when he needs it. That is a big response for East Perth.
7-1, plays 4-4. It's a real arm wrestle this game, but East Perth have got a little breathing space. But here's a chance for the Thunder. They look to provide the answer. Over the top, into the open goal. Wim just got the kick away in time, but it's play on. And a high tackle there. That one was around the neck. And that's against Sturrock. And it will go the way of Corey Tregenza. East Perth with a couple of silly free kicks. Inside their defensive 50. It's those moments of ill discipline, as I mentioned after the Ayedo goal, that you cannot afford when the game is pretty much still in the balance. Corey Tregenza, game number four in the league side. It was a real revelation in the Colts. Can he get the answer for the Thunder? It's swinging back. A great goal, Tregenza. Vital goal there from the young man. He's showing plenty of promise. And Peel Thunder keep in touch. It's back to nine points. They're going goal for goal here at Lane Group Stadium. In what has been a fascinating third term. Tregenza with his first goal. And it's now 7-1-43 to 5-4-34. Well, again, Peel Thunder got that quick centre clearance. They found an avenue to the 50. But then James Sturrock, who was going one-on-one -on -one with Tregenza, just got, uh, got Tregenza around the shoulder and conceded the free kick, and it cost him and his team a goal. It's not the only close game we've got on at the moment. Claremont have been able to come back against East Fremantle, uh, South Fremantle, rather. They're within 18 points of the Bulldogs at Fremantle Oval, and West Perth are within 10 but their inaccuracy in front of goal is hurting the Falcons. But back here at Lane Group Stadium, Hill goes to ground, taken in a great tackle there by Middleton. Ball's plucked out. North. Hancock taken in the tackle there by Hill. Players converging at the coal face. It's a hotly contested football. It's going to be a ball up on the edge of the centre square. Big fist away from Noble. Good desperate tackle there by Wilcox. It's going to be a ball up. Appeal have been able to gain some valuable territory on this occasion through Sturt. Desperate battle here in the centre. Quick hands. Was the Peel player taken high? Umpire says no, but it's mopped up by Scott. Scott goes across the ground and it's Bowles. Bowles, quick hands. And the Royals will look to move it across the ground. It's over the line. We'll have a throw in. We've ticked past 20 minutes in this third term. Nine points the difference. Noble in front position. Got a fingertip. Hill put his head over it and he's stopped in his tracks by Stanley. <laughs> Noble with the two hand palm down. Brody out to Toya. Toya's kick towards half forward in from the side. Wilcox with the spoil will have a boundary throw in. You're live on afl.com.au and on the AFL app. Home of every WAFL match in season 2024. Really absorbing contest here. East Perth by nine points. Noble knocks it down. Opportunity here for the Thunder. The kick dribbles towards the 50. Tapped on by Delian. Out the back is right. Quick hands to Sturrock. And he goes across the face of goal and spots up north. North now will drop it short and spot up Hill. Hill will take it back in board and it's Wilcox. The Royals aiming to settle it down now. They're under tremendous pressure. Despite the nine point lead, it is no easy advantage. They switch it up to Wright. Wright goes long down the line. That's a good ball and it's Saunders. He spills the mark. 
Finds himself under pressure from Wem. Brilliant play by Wem. And now the Thunder enforced the turnover. They now have a chance to break through to the centre. The mark taken by Sturt gives it off to Wybert. Wybert now finds Toya to the outer side. Stanley. Stanley has a couple of players going past. One of them is Wem. Wem kicks down the line. Unable to take it on the half volley was Hancock. Well, that's Middleton, I should say. And taken to the tackle by Wilcox. We'll have a ball up. About 55 metres out. Noble taps into space. North gives it off to Hill. Hill's kicked down the line. Over the head of the pack. Selwood keeps it alive. Under a bit of pressure against Amadjuri. Handball mopped up by Medhat. Medhat kicks high. Davies, good use of the body. And gets the handball away. Having to concede some territory here, Peel. Pushing it back to the back pocket. Kicks towards the wing. And it's Wem who marks. Already Wem too, having a very good third term. He goes in board. And he finds Hancock. And now they're going to switch it up once again, Peel. They need to be able to find some options through midfield. Blight over the top. Dangerous ball. Going in with courage there was Van Diemen. Tapped into space. Well done by Davies. Van Diemen takes him in the tackle, holding the ball. Now that was Van Diemen's play right there. Went after the ball with courage and followed it up with a desperate lunge at Davies and is rewarded with the free kick. Incredible play by Van Diemen. This is only his 30th game. But he is showing tremendous potential in the forward line, but also in midfield in some patches. That Peel Thunder and their effort to switch up the play did not work. This kick could make the Thunder pay to get it back to 15 points. Van Diemen from 40 metres out. He is delivered with ease. That never looked like missing. Well-deserved goal by Sam Van Diemen. Now four goals to two, third term. And that is a great goal, but the setup by Van Diemen, that was his opportunity that he capitalised on. And it's a well-deserved goal. He's happy and rightfully so. Went after the football, attacked it with ferocity and just kept on going. The tackle made on Davies, rewarded with the free kick and he capped it off with a fine goal. That's his first and it's back out to 15 as we hit the 25-minute mark. Last 10 minutes, the teams have gone goal for goal. And that's something Peel Thunder could ill, could ill afford. It's allowed East Perth to maintain this healthy advantage. Scott on the end of it. His kick smothered by Stanley. Mopped up by Raycos over the top. Hill gets it back to Raycos. Driving ball towards half forward. Spoiled out the back. Well done there by Murphy. Handball to Selwood under pressure. Davies goes over the top. Chapman. Gets through the traffic. Gray. And now Hancock. Working it through the corridor now, Peel Thunder. Short ball. And that's a good kick. On the run. Delane has a bounce inside the 50. That's a long kick for goal. Has it got the journey? It has, but the accuracy is way off. Now that could have been a vital late goal towards three-quarter time. Stanley, right, gets it going immediately. And that's a lovely ball and spots up Brayshaw. Quick hands, releases Wilcox. Wilcox charging across the wing. Under a bit of pressure from Middleton. Middleton is able to put enough pressure there on Wilcox. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Is there enough time for Peel Thunder to get a late goal before three-quarter time? East Perth, they'll be looking to chew it up. And defend to the brink. Risky kick. Getting hands to it is Jones. But well played in the end there by the Peel Thunder defence. Able to recycle the ball. The mark taken by Brody. 
Time of the essence here. Brody kicks towards half forward. Stanley. Stanley has Delee and honors the lead. Going after it there was Sturt. And that forces the turnover by East Perth. Scott gets out of trouble. And he steers the ball brilliantly towards Bowles. Bowles has got it on half back. And there is the siren. Three quarter time here at Lane Group Stadium. Bit of goal for goal in the final 10 minutes. But East Perth, the beneficiaries in that one. A late goal by Sam Van Diemen sees them with a healthy 14 point. Jones takes possession. Quick hands there to Crowden. He'll go over the top to Randall. Has some company in the form of Scott. He goes to him by hand. Takes a bounce on centre wing. Goes with the left foot. Goes looking there for Medhat. He's been held well, Medhat, by the Peel Thunder back line. And Davies falls it out of bounds. Be a boundary throw in inside East Perth's forward 50. In front position, Noble. Players barging towards the call face. It's going to be a ball up. Noble again winning the tap out. Toyers kick ricocheted off Noble's back. Chapman hurriedly gets boot to ball. Running back with the flight is Scott. The ball beats him and Middleton over the line will have a throw in. The two bigs going at it. Jones got the tap out, but it's Toya who throws it on the boot. It's a high one on centre wing. East Perth again looking to clear it out of the congestion. Long ball towards centre half forward. Opportunity here for Brayshaw. He can go over the top. Pressure really on Schofield. Went to the well one too many times and that's an interesting one. Schofield I have to say did get the handball away but just after the whistle. So I would have to say Schofield would be a bit stiff on this occasion. And Toya there is looking a little bit worse for wear but he's back on his feet. And of course, player safety, a big paramount these days, always in consultation with the umpire to see if he is okay. It looks like Scotty Toyer is. Only his third game, and he's having a solid hit out for Peel Thunder. He goes out wide. He finds Davis, but then he got cleaned up by Amadouri, and it's going to be a free kick going the way of Wyvern. I mentioned earlier in the third term, this game is really heated up a notch. Margins 14 points, but it's still anybody's game. Wybert will send it long down the line. Huge pack of players forming at the contest. Brilliant pick up there by Sears. He'll go over the top. Delian got the sit. He's able to go in board. Great piece of play there by Delian. And he spots up Middleton at centre half forward. Let's see here on the replay. This was great awareness by Delian. He could have had the option to go for goal himself, but he was able to honour the open, the open man in Middleton. And he took a brilliant mark on the chest at centre half forward. Vital kick for goal for Middleton. He's given it a big launch, but the accuracy is off. Only one behind. So a lucky break there for East Perth. It's now 13 points in it. A real arm wrestle here at Lane Group Stadium. Wright will take it to the outer side and he spots up Wilcox. Wilcox has no options presenting so he has to drive it toward midfield. Big pack at the back. East Perth with a big chance. Handball into space, but it's chopped up by Gray. And intended for Wybert, under pressure. Well played by Randall. He got it out to Brayshaw. Tapping it to his advantage is Van Diemen. Couldn't keep his feet, but Brady Gray did. Great play there by Gray. And the Thunder now looking to work it to the corridor. Wybert. Kicks straight down the line. That's a lovely ball. And Delian. Good service in the third term from Delian. Delian looking to spot up the lead in the 50, and he does just that. 
Great mark taken by Sears. And he has an opportunity to bring the Thunder to within seven points. And again, that's the second time that Deleon has been able to honour the, honour the lead, going to the 50. First time, of course, it was Middleton on centre-half forward. And then it was Sears. So that's two very good pieces of play by Deleon, able to spot up the lead up forward. And this could cap off a good passage here for the Thunder. Sears has been held well. But can he bring the Thunder back into this contest? He kicks towards goal. A beautiful kick by Sears. That's his first. First goal of the final term goes to the Thunder through Jack Sears. And five minutes into the final term, Peel Thunder, they are 6-6-42 to East Perth. 8-1-49, it's back to seven points as we see on the replay. Beautiful kick for goal, picture of confidence when striding into goal. He's been held well by the East Perth back six. Kicked the two goals last week and that's his first. He's usually a very good finisher when he comes up big in the final turn. We saw in the qualifying final last year, he tore it up against Subiaco and his forward presence won the thunder of the game. Kicked some vital goals when the game was in the balance. And this game certainly is. East Perth's lead whittled down to seven. Can they answer the early challenge? You hear the thunder chant from the kids around the stands. Gray puts one high towards the wing. Good use of the body there by Wilcox. He takes play across the ground. East Perth looking to manufacture a swift response. Ball is on centre wing. It's going to be driven long. Plenty of territory covered. Players at the back of the pack. Spalled over the line will have a throw in. Couple of updates from other games. West Perth have taken the lead by a point against Subiaco midway through the third term. Jasper Scaife has three. And Claremont, start of the third quarter, they trail by 17 points against South Fremantle at Fremantle Oval. Gray. Gray kicks long and low. Sears gets the sit. He's got Wem on the burst. He kicks to him. Wem marks uncontested. Handball over the top. Wilson from the pocket. Centering ball out towards full four. Trigenza. Terrific mark, Trigenza. And again, efficient ball movement from defence into attack. Could work wonders for the Thunder if Trigenza puts this one through. They switch play to the outer side. They kick to their targets. Something that they haven't done for much of this game. They've kicked to one-on-ones. They've kicked to contests where they've been outnumbered. And that was one of another of the few clean passages of play by the Thunder in transition from defence into attack. This to get peeled to within a point. He's got it. The margin is one point. That's Trigenza's second goal. And the Thunder have kicked the first two of this final turn. Eight minutes gone. 8-1 plays 7-6. It looked as though Trigenza might have just sliced that one to the wrong side of the post, but he just got enough of late swing on that one. And he kicks his second goal. Just one point in it. Peel have kicked the first two. East Perth. Are we seeing deja vu from the second quarter? Well, you better believe it. It is going to be on for young and old, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hats. 8-1, play 7-6. Noble knocks down. Pressure football really at a high here. It's going to be balled up. Noble and Jones, what a battle that has been. North on the end of it, handball over the top. Raycos second to it, Stanley tidies up. Chapman, Selwood. Goes in board, finds Wybert. Wybert has Selwood going past. Working it through the corridor, great mark by Hancock. 
Hancock in two minds, goes with the handball. Long ball from Brody. They'll contest about 25 metres out, out the back. Wilson off a step, peel in front. Late goal by Wilson and for the first time in the match, Peel are in front. So that's at the 10 minute mark of this final term. Nathan Wilson gets his second goal and Peel Thunder go to 8-6 to East Perth, 8-1. An amazing turnaround by the Thunder in this final term. They have kicked three goals, one. East Perth have scored nothing. Now the pressure falls back to the Royals. How can they manufacture this centre clearance? Peel, they've got the momentum. They've kicked the first three. Can they maintain it? Both rucks miss it. Randall. Gets boot to ball. Bowles in front. Great mark by Adam Bowles. Bowles will have Randall going past. From 65 metres out, he's going to honour the lead inside the 50. It is Zachary Hill who marks. And he has a chance to put the Royals back in front. Well, we said it just earlier. That first centre clearance was going to be essential. It was all about how East Perth were going to respond. And could they deliver a swift one through Zach Hill? He's kicked one. He's looking for goal number two. He'll have the one goal last week. He's got one today. He just slices that one to the left. It's touched on the line and only one behind. Margin now four points. Only 16 goals have been kicked, but it has to be said, a very intense contest. 11 minutes into this final term. Long ball towards the centre square, covering lots of ground. It spills out the back. Roving it brilliantly there was the Thunder player. High tackle. That's going to be on Sam Sturt, and he gets the free kick inside the centre square. Or just on the edge of the centre square. In fact, that's Hancock, I should say. Hancock goes short to Brody. Brody goes across, and it finds Gray. Gray with not a lot of options presenting, so he pumps it to the hot spot. Who's going to go up? Couple of East Perth players, and that's a great mark taken by McCready on the last line. Going in board, North. North. Has to play on. Retreating some territory there. East Perth now starting to feel the pressure. They have not trailed all game until now. Selwood couldn't take the mark, but he's able to recover and quickly give it off to Murphy. Centering kick. Toya, he's had a great afternoon. Handball over the top. Hancock out to Stanley. Gets around Crowden from 50 metres out. Centering ball. That's a great mark by Sears. He was able to put it in great position for Sears to go to ground and take the mark. And a chance to put Peel 10 in front. And again, this great setup by the Thunder. We saw DeLean do that a couple of times. But this time it was Ethan Stanley who was able to honour the lead of a player inside the 50. This time, that being Jack Sears. And now Sears, he has a chance to kick goal number two. Very difficult kick. Tight angle. <laughs> Won't make the journey. And it's fisted away for a behind. Well, it's back to five points now. And this is at the 14 minute mark of this final turn. A great match we're witnessing here. Right, pumps it long towards centre wing. Covered plenty of ground. With the spoil is Murphy. The first gamer forces the stoppage. Boundary throw in. Quick update in some other games. Subiaco have taken back the lead against West Perth. It's only six points at Sullivan Logistics Stadium. And South Fremantle leading Claremont, but the lead's cut to 11. And not too far away from Perth and Swan Districts battling it out in a day-night match at Mineral Resources Park. Gray 
Hurries the kick, it's long. Over the top, Tregenza couldn't complete the mark. Right, fists it into the path of Sears. Hurries a snap off a step. It's going to be another minor score. Peel starting to pepper the goals and it's put a lot of worry into East Perth. The kick was an ordinary one. Saunders, it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a high tackle. It's going to be against Delian. The margin, one straight goal. Brayshaw. Raykos. Raykos looking to size up the options in midfield. Peel locking them down very well at the moment. Forcing East Perth to concede territory. McCready. McCready out to right. Wants to play on. Goes in board. Tedesco. Had Wilcox over the, Wilcox over the top. But he elects to go short to Saunders. Saunders, it's a dangerous kick. Toya! Great mark by the young player. A terrific game he's playing. It's only his third game, but he's really put in a brilliant effort. Toya, ordinary kick, and it's marked brilliantly by Saunders. Vital mark in defensive 50. Randall. Randall to Brayshaw. He's seen plenty of the footy again. Randall. Kicks to the out to the near side. It was an ordinary one. Peel Thunder with the numbers. Noble, handball along the ground. Pressure really on now. Noble gets boot to ball in a hurry. Two on one, and it's the one that beats the two. Brayshaw marks. Oh, we had an attack of the fumbles. Panic starting to creep in. High ball. Going up there was Bowles, couldn't complete the mark. High ball towards the half forward line, and that's a great mark taken there by Blake. White's been one of Peel's best this afternoon. Long ball towards the centre. Big leap from Noble. Couldn't complete the mark. Brody, handball out. Releases Wybird. Running towards 50. Huge chance. Wybird heads towards goal. On his own in the pocket is Brody Wim. He has a chance to extend Peel Thunder's lead. Plays on towards goal. Has he got it? Yes! Brody Wim kicks his first goal. And it's out to a 12-point margin in Peel Thunder's favour, 16 minutes into the final turn. Peel Thunder have kicked four goals unanswered in this last term. And all of a sudden, the momentum East Perth had for much of the game is all but gone. Again, the, the goal set up from a half back, the mark by Blight, kicking it down the line. They had greater numbers at the contest. Wybert honoured the lead of Wim brilliantly with a well-weighted kick towards the forward pocket. And Wim was able to seal the deal with a great goal. Who do the Royals turn to in the meantime? Who's going to deliver? Who can bring them back from the brink? They've only scored one behind. We've now ticked over 18 minutes. Jones knocks it down. Brayshaw and Gray. Gray leading in the foot race. Providing the backup is Van Diemen. Couldn't keep his feet. Tedesco's handball brilliantly smothered. Selwood taken to ground in the tackle. And it's going to be a boundary throw in. An absorbing final term. Peel Thunder fans. Really rocking in the grandstands. East Perth, their fans thinking what to do. On the end of it is Hammer. Centering kick towards full forward. Players going up. Out the back is Wybert. Facing a little bit of pressure. Under real pressure. Tedesco pulls it back. He's missed. Well, a massive opportunity to answer back. Has gone begging for East Perth. It's down to 11 points. Thank you. Absorbing last term here. Peel Thunder taking the ball to the outer side. 
It's Blight. Long ball towards centre wing. McCready using the body. Ball bounces freely. Sturrock goes over the top. And now the Royals have a big chance just inside play. Angus Scott. Marks and centres the ball. Tedesco. Randall centering ball and that kick falls into the arms of Aedo. Aedo straight away takes it and plays on to the near side and it's marked by Tregenza. Every time East Perth have been able to pepper the 50, Peel Thunder have found that intestinal fortitude to turn it over. Roving it out the back there is Watts. East Perth, they need the next goal. They need the next goal to have any hope of getting back into this game. Ball spills to ground level and again the pressure on the ball by the Thunder forces the stoppage. Noble playing a key part in this contest. Both rucks miss it. Jones knocks it out to the advantage of Amaduri. Long ball into space. About 45 metres out from the goal. Well done by Murphy. Can't break free. Brought to ground in the Medhat tackle. And the umpire says, I'll have it. We've ticked over 20 minutes in this final turn. Margin is 11 points. Knocked on by Van Diemen. Gray, hit by a wall of East Perth tacklers in the form of Van Diemen and North. Jones taps it to space. Amaduri couldn't keep his feet, playing for the free kick to no avail. Rakos able to keep his feet, still in play. Amaduri goes one way when he should have went the other. Handball out, Rakos outside of the boot, he shoots towards goal, he's missed. That's another miss for East Perth. Well, that's two chances for East Perth to get themselves back into this game. And they haven't been able to convert. Ten points is the margin. Going up is Jones. Ball into space. Cleverly done by Van Diemen. Losing the handle there was Crowden. Hurried kick into space. Leading in the foot race there was Saunders, but he's able to receive some backup. Hurried kick. Oh, unable to read the bounce there was Wilson. Hancock can't break free. He's been stopped in his tracks by the Sturrock tackle. We'll have a ball up. All or nothing for East Perth. If they don't get the next goal and time is chewed up, and that'll be their hopes gone. Crowden flirts with danger, just got the kick away in time. Very, very lucky indeed. Stanley, quick handball. And taken in, a, in the Van Diemen tackle. Looks like Ayedo. It's going to be a ball up inside the centre square. Margin is 10. Umpires found a free kick, high contact. It's going to East Perth. Big opportunity for the Royals. Handball to North, honours the kick. And it's Amaduri. He wants to get on with it quickly. 23 minutes have gone. Amaduri from just inside the 50. It's a big launch, but it's wide. In the pocket, the mark's been taken. Tom Medhat marks. He's got it in the pocket. He's been held down well by the Thunder defence. This is a very difficult kick. Medhat, eager to get on with business. Check side kick and he's missed as well. Three opportunities, all of them have missed. Has East Perth's inaccuracy cost them? Peel counting their lucky stars. As Gray pumps it long towards centre wing. Rakos, handball intended for Saunders. Under pressure, but he kept his feet. 
gathering possession is Sears. He's brought to ground, and it'll be a ball up. This fourth quarter turnaround could be a match-winning one for Peel Thunder. Fisted away by Amadouri. Crowder receives the handball from Hill. Just got it away in time. Right. Hill go onto the left foot. Pumping it long towards half forward. Spilling the mark is Hill. Opportunity for Chapman. Quick handball to Blight. And now Stanley on the burst. Stanley, long ball towards half forward. On the lead is Wilson. Brilliant mark by Wilson. And just cramped up for a moment there. He's marked inside 50. He's kicked two. He kicked one from almost a similar distance. And if he kicks this, you could shut the gate with this game. Nathan Wilson. Can he deliver th for the Thunder? From just inside the 50. He's launched it! He's launched it! He's gold! What a kick by Wilson! Signed, sealed and delivered for Peel Thunder. Wilson has his second of the quarter and three for the game. The Thunder are in front by 15 points. What a final turn for Peel Thunder. Five goals to four behinds. And that is pretty much the coup de grace for Peel this afternoon. For East Perth, no doubt they'll be pondering and thinking what went wrong. Adam Reid, his coaching record, first season, two and one after three games. As from the centre, Gray hurries the kick towards half forward. And it's marked brilliantly on the chest by Middleton. Ben Middleton. He hasn't kicked a goal. But can he make it 21 points? And to continue this final quarter charge. From 55 metres out. He's pumped it long. Has he snuck it home? Just missed. Margin now out to 16. Right. We'll pump it long. Wilcox. He wants to play on. Long ball towards centre wing. Big leap from behind. What a mark by Schofield. Plays on immediately with the handball. Right, sets it up to the hot spot. On half forward, and with the mark, this time, Tregenza. He's signalling, settle down, and there it is. Peel Thunder have come from behind to take their second win of the season after an impressive final turn that seen them kick five goals to just four behinds. And they have won by 16 points here at Lane Group Stadium. 10-9-69 to 8-5-53.